Hey guys, Brad from simpleguitar.com here and welcome back to another finger training video. We're gonna take a finger exercise and I want you to pick up your guitar and practice along with me. I'm gonna set the timer for a minute for each one and by the end of the video, you should have your fingers nice and warmed up and if you do this consistently, it's really gonna improve your finger control and dexterity and strength and make playing chords and scales and everything that you do a lot easier. Now this exercise I'm calling finger lunges. I couldn't think of a better name because finger stretches, is, it's not like we're stretching our fingers like this or something. Here's how we're gonna start these finger lunges. What we're gonna do is I want you to do your first finger on your ninth fret on your first string, your second finger on the 10th fret on your second string, third finger on the 11th fret of your third string, and then your pinky on the 12th fret of your fourth string. Now this is a major seven chord, okay? Sounds great, right? But what we're gonna do is you're gonna play each of these strings, starting with your fourth string and going up to your first. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop your first finger down one fret. So now your first finger is on eight and your second finger is still on 10, third finger is on 11, pinky's on 12. And then you're gonna drop your second finger down a fret. Then drop your third finger down a fret. And then drop your pinky down a fret. And we're just going one finger at a time each time you go through this. And then it's really going to stretch your fingers as the further you get down. It gets harder the lower that you get on the fretboard because the frets are further spaced. So we're gonna do two one minute rounds of this and then we're gonna flip it and we're going to do our hands the other way with your first finger on the fourth string and your pinky all the way up on your first string, okay? So starting with round one for one minute, here we go. Ready, set, go. Now I am playing this and you do kind of want to make sure that your fingers are ringing out clearly as you do this, but go as slow as you want to. You don't have to go fast. This does not have to sound good especially as you get further and further, it's okay, right? Now, if you wanna get technical and this gets really easy for you, what we're gonna do is you can do it with a metronome, right? Start at like 40 beats per minute and then speed it up from there. And then if you're cool, you can start dividing the beat and playing eighth notes, triplets, 16th notes. You can do whatever you want to really but that'll be a good way to also work on developing your rhythm. But here, we're just focused on your stretch and we're almost done with your first minute. Here we go. There we go. So that was one minute. Now let's do that one more time, okay? I'm gonna move a little bit faster. I wanna get further down, all right? Because it's a good stretch. And then after that, we're gonna switch, right? So one minute, here we go. Ready, set, go. Again, go as fast as you want. Go as slow as you need to. Watch your fingers. Try to keep all your fingers down at once for this. This is one that we want to let ring out. We want to be moving everything. Don't lift your fingers up as much as you can. Yeah, I mean, you're going to a little bit when you slide them down, but that's okay, right? You might start to feel a burn. Try to relax as much as you can it's really hard though i'm feeling it too guys right so i'm over here tense and i'm saying try to relax and that's mainly to remind myself i need to relax while i'm doing this more keep it going here we go almost there there we go so that's one minute there. Now, for the next two minutes, the next two rounds, what we're gonna do is we're going to flip it. And we're going to put your first finger on the ninth fret of your fourth string, your third, second finger on the 10th fret of your third string, your third finger on the 11th fret of your second string, and your pinky on the 12th fret of your first string. And then we're gonna go down this way, okay? So a little bit different angle here, but let's try that for one minute. Ready, set, go. That does not sound good. 
This is not as pretty as the major seven chord. This seems a little bit more like a lot of the kind of chords that you're actually going to encounter in songs and the kind of stretches you're gonna see. So this one I think is gonna be really handy for you. Keep it going, this is our first round of the flipped version. Oh my gosh, that stretch is ridiculous. I couldn't do it, that was too much, too much. Ah, I feel the pain. All right, there's one minute. Now let's do that one more time for good measure. Oh, that was a lot right now. One more minute. This is our last one today. And by the end of this, your fingers should be nice and warmed up and you should feel a little bit of a burn. Kind of like you're working out because you're working out. That's why. Here we go. One minute. Ready, set, go. Man, this is ugly. This is, I don't know, this is gross. This is like the kind of music you'd hear in a nightmare. Oh my goodness. Yeah, my thumb is feeling it. So I just let go with my thumb for a minute. But these stretches down here, uh, between the third and fourth finger, they are rough. Remember, you should not feel any sharp pain, um, but you should feel a little bit of a burn from the stretch. Ah, oh, there we go, that's one minute, okay. All right, so, so that was a rough one this week, guys. That is a much harder exercise than I anticipated, actually. That was good. So I hope that you stuck through it and got through all four minutes of that. Remember, if you come back to this each week, you can use the timestamps in the description of the video to jump to each round. And if you do that, that's gonna work on your finger control and dexterity and independence. And this one has the benefit of stretching your fingers out as well. So that way you can get a good, nice warm up that also impacts every area of your playing. Now, as my gift for you for going through that exercise, Exercise, let me give you something too. If you go to my website at simpleguitar.com slash top 10, there I have a free guide for you called the top 10 things to learn on guitar first, which if you already have it, go ahead and pass that link along to a friend and tell them, hey, go check this thing out. But it's 10 things that will get you more bang for your buck with your playing. So if you're starting out on the guitar and you want to be able to play real music, the things in that guide are going to help get you up and playing more real music right off the bat. Not stuff like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star or, you know, boring stuff like that. You're gonna actually be able to play real songs and have a lot more fun because the stuff in that guide is aimed at getting you playing right away. So go to simpleguitar.com slash top 10, download that guide for free. Thanks for watching today. Now, if you want more finger torture, then go check out this video right here where we do some double finger push-ups, and that is a lot of fun, and I will catch you guys in the next video.